Bacula Enterprise Edition to the rescue. Welcome to the Bacula Systems web series. This video briefly demonstrates adding a cloud storage device using vWeb. If you haven't yet watched the how-to video on our YouTube channel titled Add New Storage to Bacula Enterprise, please consider doing so first, as this video will skip topics covered there. To add the new cloud storage device, the first step is to enter configuration mode. From here, adding a new storage device is most easily done with the Add a New Storage Resource wizard. In this case, we'll be adding a new cloud storage device to an existing storage daemon. This will be a cloud auto-changer device, which allows multiple simultaneous backup jobs to the same cloud storage. Since the new devices are being added to an existing storage daemon, Connection and authentication information can be copied from the existing devices. Next, we configure all the information about this cloud storage. The cloud cache is a local storage location where data is cached before being sent to the cloud. Normally, this is a fairly small area used for temporary writes before cloud upload, but the cache can also contain a week or more of backups, allowing local restores for most recent data and cloud restore for older data. Please contact Bacula Systems to discuss all the possible configurations for cloud cache storage, cache retention, and cloud upload behavior. As always with the new storage device, a unique and descriptive media type is recommended so that Bacula knows which volumes belong to this storage device. Next, the cloud driver is chosen. The list shows the current cloud platform supported as of the creation of this video, but new cloud backends are constantly being added, so please contact us if you don't see your preferred provider. To set up S3 storage, you will add the cloud host name, your account information, and select a region if desired. You can connect to your account at this point and choose an existing bucket, or enter a name here which will create a new bucket. You can also check connectivity here and verify that everything works. The default setting will upload the data directly to the cloud during the job as it's ready, but this is a configurable option if you prefer to upload after the job completes or on a different schedule entirely. Finally, the new storage device will need a descriptive name. If you're satisfied with the changes, the temporary files can be committed to production and the directory loaded. The storage daemon will have to be restarted, so please be aware that any running jobs will fail. From here, you will most likely want to set up new backup pools for this cloud storage, and then configure jobs to write to the new pools. Please see our documentation, contact support, or see our YouTube channel for help on these steps. To test that everything works correctly, I will manually run a small, full backup job to the new storage device. Normally, this would be automated in the job schedule and configurations. After the job is run, we should see in the job log that the data is uploaded to the cloud. And here, we can see that it has been. A free trial of Bacula Enterprise Edition is available from our website, baculasystems.com, and includes guided exercises walking you through different operations within Bacula Enterprise. For more videos, please see and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thank you for watching.